In this video you will learn all popular solutions for React state management. And actually just from the start I want to say that there is no silver bullet, every single solution here has its use case. So the first and the most popular solution inside React is obviously your state hook. And if you don't know, this is a possibility to create a local state inside a functional component inside React with the usage of hooks. And we are using it every single time when we need a state inside our component. So this is totally fine, but at some point you want to share this state and we don't have a possibility to share your state just because we can simply pass it to our child or to our parent, but we don't have a possibility to make it global. And essentially at some point it becomes really difficult to pass this state from the component here and there. And at this point you will typically check React context. So what is React context? This is exactly a possibility to make anything accessible from any component inside our React tree. Which actually means you can just put here your state or maybe use reducer inside global context and reuse it at any component in any nesting without need to provide it from the parent to the child. But here is an important point, React context is a low level tool and you implement yourself what you are packing inside. If you just implement there a huge object and you will subscribe in all your components for this huge object, then it doesn't make any sense because all your components will be re-rendered at once. And this is typically known as a re-render problem with usage of React context. Which brings us to the library, which is an alternative to your state, but globally. And this library is called Jotai. The main idea is that it works in exactly the same way like your state, but you can use it across all components where you want, and this is just a global client state inside your React project. Additionally, inside this library, they handled quite well problem with a lot of renderings. And you don't need to wrap your code with provider every single time when you're creating new React context, because it is not based on React context. So what Jotai does, it does for us global client state, which actually means this is something that you need just on the client. For example, a state for your theme, but not the data from the API. It is not intended for that. But actually when we try to fetch data from the API inside React, it is really tedious, because every single time we must try to use effect, we must define a state and put this data inside that state. Additionally we need is loading property, error property, caching validation, caching data and so on. This is really difficult and time consuming. This is why the most popular library to solve this case is React Query. This is exactly the library to synchronize your server state, which means your API, with the state inside your components. Which actually means when we are talking about fetching data from the API and rendering them inside your component with caching and invalidation, this is exactly what we want to use. And it is really important to distinguish between Jotai and React Query. Jotai is for client state management and React Query is for server state management. And these two libraries are really a nice combo to implement big features inside your application by writing small amount of code. So by far we talked about three things, first of all your state, secondly React context, on the third place is Jotai plus React query. And the last thing here is something big, scalable, but tedious to implement. And I am talking here about Redux. And not just Redux, but the family of libraries where you have state management outside of the React, which is working on top of the React. And actually here we are not talking just about Redux, but essentially Redux Toolkit, which is the most popular solution outside of React to implement state management for big project. Because essentially here we are writing lots of boilerplate, but it helps us to write all code in exactly the same way. So if we are talking about most popular solution for state management for React, it will be for sure Redux. Yes, you must master lots of concepts inside like actions, action types, reducers, asynchronous actions, Redux DevTools and much much more, but it is totally worth it. Additionally, we have some alternatives to Redux which are kind of similar. And the first alternative which people really like is called to stand. 
And this is just an easier state management. And yes, it is working in exactly the same way like Redux, so you have some global states, but it also has a possibility to have something like actions and mutations inside your reducers. As you can see here, we can create store with some state inside and some functions to change the state. And then inside our components, we can subscribe to parts of the state and render this data, or call functions to change our state. But some people really like Zustand because you need to write less code there, but it is much less popular than Redux. And the last alternative to Redux in the list is called Mobix, and it is the most different approach from the Redux because they are using their classes to make your application reactive. But the main idea is totally the same, you have some state inside these classes, you can observe your state and you can make some mutations, so changes to the state. And additionally to that, you have asynchronous actions that can also change your state. And your question is now for sure, okay, but what should I learn? And first of all, you must master React with usage of your state. And you for sure must try React context just to understand how it works. If you intend to work in the company and you just want to improve your knowledge of React, I highly recommend you to look on Redux and Redux Toolkit, because this is the most popular solution, which is used in lots of the companies. If you want to try something to write much less code, I highly recommend you to look on the combination of Jotai and React Query. And if you really don't like Redux, but you want something similar or easier, I really recommend you to look on Sustent or maybe Mobix. And actually, if you are interested to know how inside React to build advanced slider without a slide in an animations, make sure to check this video also.